nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. You know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hit. And not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. I wanna take a quick second and talk to you guys about the progress of the People's Fox, AKA the Calypso clone. We are still blocking and priming this thing. I thought we would be way past this, maybe two weeks ago we would be in paint already but we're not and this is the content that we have so hang in there guys we will be in paint within the next week or two then we will be pulling the engine out of the donor car getting it prepped and ready to go into the calypso clone so there will be some engine driveline content coming up real soon for you guys just hang in there for right now let's get this process done let's do it right and share tips and tricks where we can all right let's go ahead and get to the video all right guys here she is outside and the main reason i want to get this thing outside is because i wanted to see uh where i need to prime at plus we have got to clean up this nasty garage and uh got a couple more spots that i forgot about now isn't that how it always goes you think you're doing so good and you think you're almost there and then bam you realize holy crap i forgot a dent so we need to fix that dent and from here i just want to get this thing out uh, blow it all off spot prime some stuff and wash the car the car has got to be washed but i can't wash it yet i don't want to wash it yet until i get the primer on it because there's a bunch of bare spots all over the place so we don't want to get any moisture on that so i'm probably just going to spot prime this here in just a few minutes gonna mix up a little bit of primer as soon as i fix that up there and i may even go ahead and prime around that anyway and just fix that separately because i have got to get primer on this car because i gotta start i gotta finish blocking it out so anyway guys catch you in a few okay so just a quick update i primed the car last night with just a 2k primer it's not a high build or anything like that and i have sanded the car so far with 400 grit sandpaper so that's where we're at looks pretty smooth for the most part i got to go back over it again though we're going to finish it up with some 600 just lightly and up here i ran into a little bit more uh work so i forgot that this deck lid had two dings one there and one there and what this is is polyester filler uh, it's very lightweight. It's not really meant to cover such a big area, but it's a very, very slight uh, imperfection. So I'm basically just putting a skim coat on it and I'll come in and block this out and hopefully it'll be smooth as ever. And up here the same way. One thing I do want to touch on guys on that I have noticed that I have learned is uh, anytime you have a body line like this and you have a dent in the top of that body line and you think, how am I going to sand this out and keep that body line straight if you have a good line on either side of the dent say here and here the body line is not affected like that you just have a dent in the middle when you lay your block up here that block's going to lay on these two body lines the good body lines and create a bridge and if you hold that block level enough you should be able to maintain this so it's going to knock that bondo or that filler down and match it to this take your block and as you sand it's going to level that out. It's going to match the Bondo to the body line. Since the body line is the hardest and the Bondo is a little softer, it should match it up. Now, you do have to be careful on your body lines on the side of the car. You know, don't press too hard or whatever. But the thing is, once you start getting close, you can just kind of lay that thing up there and ever so slightly work that body line down. What I like to do is sand on the bottom first or the top, whichever. So sand here, block this out. Sand here, block that out. And then come across the top. And just in case any of you are wondering no that's not finished that's not feathered out yet so i'm just showing you guys how i go about it body work's been kind of a learning process for me but uh hey i'm enjoying it you know i grew up around it i just never really took to the body work side of it so much but you know i don't think i'll be doing it for a living anytime soon but uh, hey i have enjoyed it no doubt just to show you guys uh where we are up here 
this is looking really good so uh it's got some 2k primer on it now you have to be careful with all these primers and fillers and stuff like that you start using a lot of primer and and, and it's gonna shrink up on you at some point it may be 10 years down the road but at some point uh, a lot of this body work is going to show back up just because there's filler down and everything and that's probably one of the hardest things to do is manage your filler we'll call it filler intake versus primer intake because sanding filler is very hard and if you gouge it up too much, there's nothing to do but come back and put another light skim coat of putty or something like that on it. So, But that's the proper way to do it. Even filler will shrink, especially some of this thinner stuff. It's going to shrink up eventually. Anyway, guys, that's where we're at right now. And uh, overall, she's looking really good. So, yes, I have block sanded this car out a lot, like three times already. Well, this will make the third time. But uh, that's a really correct way to do it if you want everything to be slick because after I shot this last little bit of primer on, you can't go in with, with your hand and sandpaper in your hand and just start sanding because you're going to put finger marks in everything that I just worked so hard for. I'm just lightly scuffing up the primer with some cross hatching and a block. Should be good to go. Uh, the roof might need a little bit more work, might need some more primer. Uh, there were some imperfections up there, but guys, we're, we're close. We are so close, I can taste it. We were close before, but imperfections i'm just i'm after all these little imperfections that i can find i shouldn't be telling you guys that because i know it's going to make it sound like oh i can't wait to see this thing in person because oh it's going to be flawless no not even close to being flawless i have i feel like i have an obligation to at least try to find all these imperfections that i can anyway there's going to be some left in it but um that's where we're at All right, guys, so this is what I'm talking about right here. So you have a body line that you know runs across here. You still have some Bondo down here that's not feathered in, but you're getting pretty close. So now's the time I start sculpting my body line and try not to work outside of that, meaning don't pull your sandpaper past the dent. This is how I attack that. And what it'll do is it'll sand right down through the Bondo, find the body line, and then it'll leave you the low spot. You'll be able to see it. Let's go ahead and uh, finish kind of feathering the edges. So what I'm going to do while I have the 120 grit in my hand here is go ahead and just start feathering these edges because there's no dent down here. This is where the uh, filler has to be feathered out. And it's a lot easier for this sandpaper to do that than say 320 that I'm about to switch to. Oh yeah, a quick tip for you guys, if you don't have like the long sheets of sandpaper, you can just take two sheets like this of the disc paper, wrap it around your block, and that works just fine. Don't, don't be concerned with that. That's irrelevant. Everything will block out perfectly smooth. All right, guys, so now I'm transitioning over to 320 to finish this thing out. And uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. So now we just got to focus on really kind of blending the edges, and I'll probably shoot a little guide coat on here to see where we're at. So the guide coat will tell you where all of your low spots are. So there's some low spots there we need to address. All right, guys, that's where we're at so far. Um, it's looking pretty good. I got to go in and finish everything out now. But that is the gist of it. And hopefully you won't be able to tell that there was a dent there when I'm done. All right, guys, I'll get back to you in a few. Figured I would go ahead, bring it outside. It has been wet sanded with 600 grit for the most part. I still have to sand the front bumper and put some adhesion promoter on it. But other than that, everything's pretty much done. Um, the top really needs to kind of be going back over again. Final little details. I mean, I'm picking out all these corners right here. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and rinse this thing off as best as possible. Obviously, we can't really wash, wash the car because we'll get water everywhere. But there's going to be a little water that gets in, but we have to wash this thing. So what we need to do is really just wash all this dust down and let it... Uh, let it run down, drain out. You know, air works pretty good, but air doesn't get it all. Now I am going to hand wash the car here in just a few minutes. In my opinion, this time of day, like this lighting right here, 
this is where calypso looks the best now i don't know if this is going to show up it's in this lighting that you really kind of catch that just awesome green look that it has so it's not too light it's not too dark it's just it's perfect mm, it's gonna look good guys i'm just gonna go ahead and wash this thing and uh, get it cleaned up try to get most of this crap off that we can and we'll go ahead and pull it back inside and talk about it well she is all washed nice and clean now she's not going to stay that way forever we do have a little bit more sanding to do but guys we had so much dust caked down into the corners of everything that we had to do this and probably gonna have to wash this thing again but finally got all the loose debris out so once we tape this thing up hopefully we won't be blowing trash and dirt all over the place uh just looking up here at the roof looks pretty good where we did our body work i don't i don't see any any flaws in it yet i'm sure we will once we paint it but uh, i want to talk to you guys about one thing when it comes to body work this is where you start chasing your tail now as a non-professional uh body guy or paint guy i should say uh this is where you will you can't seem to gain any ground now to you guys this car probably looks the same as it has for about a month now and uh, there has been so much work done to this thing that you just haven't seen. You sand the car down and you hit bare metal. Like right here, here's a good example actually. I didn't even see that. So like right here you hit bare metal, you gotta come in and you gotta shoot some primer on that. Well, primer likes to overspray everywhere. So then you gotta come back and sand on this again. Well, sometimes when you're trying to sand your overspray off, you end up touching metal again. So you just, you start chasing your tail and this is where things really start to get aggravating. You feel like you're gaining no ground. What I usually do is come in with a good spray cam primer and touch those spots up simply because you don't have as much overspray on that. And you can tape your area off if you need to. But you gotta be careful when you tape areas off because let's go back here and look. Let's say you have this right here and you kind of tape this off into a box. Well, you're gonna have a hard line right here that you have to feather. As you're trying to feather this, you very well could get into the metal over here. You know, a professional knows how to how to handle this stuff like that. For me, it's just back and forth, back and forth. You do one thing, then you got to do another. So see, you know, we've had to fit this body kit up on this car many, many times. This body kit's been on this car about three or four different times. So it's on here, it's secure, and it's got to come off again. It's got to come off because we've got to shoot some base coat behind everything. If you're not careful and you don't go in and you don't sand this stuff, these little edges like that right there, oh yeah, they'll show up. Look at that. Stuff like that will show up and it has to be blended. It has to be sanded. Those little things are why we are still in the process of sanding and priming. Um, as I go, I just find more and more stuff. So anyway. Not to harp on all that. Hey, it's still good, guys. We're we're looking good here, but there is more work to be done. Uh, every time I feel like I'm getting close to painting the car, I find something like that, you know? And it's just, there's lots of little spots like that. Anyway, guys, uh, I wanna go ahead and wrap this video up. I've said this, I think in like two videos already back to back, but hopefully next time you see this car, we will be laying some paint on it. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching. What, you're still here? Well, okay then, I guess I'll take this time to thank each and every one of you for all the love and all the support that you have given this channel. Guys, we're at 13,500 subscribers at the time of this video. Now, I remember a time whenever I was struggling to find content. Didn't know what my channel was going to be about. Didn't know where we were headed. No clue. It was a stroke of luck that I posted a Fox Body video. It took off. And you guys let me know what it was that you wanted to see. It was Fox Bodies. I had no clue that there was an audience out there for that. Luckily though, that's something that I was super passionate about. That's all it took for me after that. So here we are. Over 13,000 subscribers. And I just want to say thank you all so much for everything that you've done. For picking me up whenever I'm down. I try to get on here and motivate you guys. But in the end, we all just motivate each other. I mean, hell, you got me out here again building another damn fox body i thought after the red car we were done guys what happened thought that was it well i guess not so now we have the calypso clone and she's coming along nicely it's a hell of a project i'm not gonna lie to you guys sometimes it's overwhelming but 
you motivate me and you help me push through. So for that, I want to say thank you all once again for everything that you do for me and for this channel. Keep being badass, guys, and we'll catch you in the next video.